Hello Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Uh, for those of you who are new, thank you for being here. Welcome. We are going to be uh, looking at the energies that will be playing out in February 2021. I hope you all are having a happy new year. Um, also wanted to let you know that I did meditate on your energies um, as the collective. Um, and emotions will be running high um, with the transits that are occurring in the sky currently and in February. Sorry for that noise, that was a motorcycle outside. Um, so the with the transit the transits in the sky, um, there's going to be um, the need to take some time to meditate, really ground yourself and make sure that you are focusing on um, your heart chakra and uh, balancing and helping yourself to maintain your, um, your heart chakra during this time. Also, it would be a good idea to focus on um, creative endeavors as well if you are someone who excels in uh, creativity. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and see what energies are going to be playing out for you, Gemini, during February 2021. Okay, Spirit, please give me the messages for Gemini for February. one more card for you. I usually get three, but I'm going to uh, get one more. I'm being pulled to call, uh, pull one more. <clears throat> being called to pull one more. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So it looks like there is a new beginning here. We do have um, money on the table as well. So this could be in career. So we start out with the uh, Son of Pentacles. <clears throat> this is the Knight of Pentacles in this deck. And um, this is talking about taking action or initiative on something regarding your money. Uh, now, this is um, a knight, so knights move in quickly. Um, however, this is the card of, um, this is the energy of Taurus. So um, they don't always move as quickly as um, we would like them to. So... Um, this may just mean that it could be um, a steady pace of something coming in for you. And it could this could also be an individual as well. It could be dealing with the Taurus. We will clarify. We also have the Daughter of Pentacles. This is the Page of Pentacles, okay? So this is something um, new that might be coming in for you. It could be a new job. It could be some communication coming in regarding um, regarding work. Uh, maybe uh, you've put in your resume or you're looking um, for employment um, and that could this could just mean that someone is um, going to be reaching out to you regarding employment um, we have the nine of swords I'm sorry the nine of wands this is the nine of wands and this really shows that um, you you have been experiencing um, a very heavy burden um, this could be in work, this could be in a relationship. I do feel highly um, strongly that this is a work situation. Um, so you have been um, feeling like a wounded warrior. Um, maybe something happened that created um, this feeling of uh, being overwhelmed and feeling like you have a lot on your plate. Again, we'll clarify. And then we have the Four of Pentacles here. This is in regards to your foundation. Um, regards to your money and your assets. It looks like you're holding tight onto um, what's, what you have, um, your possessions, including your money. Um, and there could be many reasons for this, um, but you are definitely um, keeping your um, assets close and um, being very careful as to how you're spending your money. <clears throat> now with the Ace of Swords here, this is a new beginning. This is um, rebirth into something new and this could be anything it could be a new thought a new idea um, a new way of approaching 
um, something that needs to be communicated. So you could be speaking um, to somebody in a different manner, um, a new way of speaking to somebody. So as you know, swords talk about the intellect and talk about communication. So this is a new beginning that may require you to communicate something effectively and um, bring this communication may bring out some clarity in a situation. Okay. So to clarify, I'm going, I'm being called to use the Light Seer's Tarot deck. If you are interested in any of the decks that I'm using today, um, you can find them in the description box below. Also, if this reading does not resonate with you today, please go check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, I have a playlist as well that you can go check out um, to see the videos that um, relate to you the most. Keep in mind this is a general reading and it will not resonate with everybody, okay? So um, it's okay if you, you know, feel that it doesn't resonate, just click off and um, go check out another video or another tarot reader on YouTube, okay? Okay, Spirit, please um, give me the messages that um, Gemini needs to hear. I'm clarifying the Son of Pentacles here. looking at devil energy and the knight of wands <clears throat> so this devil energy can talk about uh, many things it could be fear of failure lack of confidence or even self-doubt um, so with this knight of pentacles here since I do feel that it is a person you could be dealing with you could be dealing with a Taurus um, I'm feeling that this um, individual is definitely someone who um, may be feeling this insecurity or feel, fear of failure, wants to move towards you um, passionately, um, but isn't feeling, um, he's, he's feeling, he or she is feeling lack of confidence, okay? So there is lack of confidence here, fear of failure um, with a, a possible Taurus here. Let's go see, uh, let's go ahead and see what this Daughter of Pentacles is. Spirit, please clarify the Daughter of Pentacles for Gemini. Again, with this um, page of pentacles, something new um, regarding money. There's the eight of swords, something that you might um, feel like you cannot attain. Um, you possibly have your, you're possibly blind to something or just not seeing something that um, is right in front of you. Um, and there is the knight of pentacles again. Okay, so this energy is coming out twice. So let me just show you. These two cards are the same cards, different decks. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is coming out again. Um, so with this Eight of Swords, feeling like you cannot um, attain something with this Knight of Pentacles. And this Page of Pentacles here is the same card as the original card we pulled. So the Knight of Pentacles came out twice and the Page of Pentacles is coming out twice. So that is reiteration. And for me, that is clarification on another level. So really Spirit is um, saying that this is a very strong message here. 
Um, and the message really is that there is somebody here, possibly a Taurus, um, coming through as the Knight of Pentacles, um, who um, you feel you cannot reach, um, you cannot attain something with this individual for whatever reason. That will be different for all of you. So put it into, uh, into perspective as to how you see it. Um, but it, it seems that there is some blockages here, um, feeling of um, not being able to get across to this individual. Um, and there definitely seems to be a new beginning that wants to emerge here. Um, it's just that there are some issues with um, not being able to attain um, either access to this individual. You could possibly be living um, at distance, at a distance from this individual. Um, there could be some emotional detachment. Um, there could be many reasons why um, the, the attainment is not um, readily there or available. Um, but with this devil energy, as I said, this individual seems to be feeling um, lack of confidence and having possible fear of failure or insecurities um, and um, definitely is uh, someone who is very passionate um, for you um, for the you know the possibility of this relationship um, to, to manifest um, but there are some um, energies here that just um, are not um, allowing you to access um, the parts of this individual that needs to come through, okay? Now, it looks like you have been burdened, um, and I wanna see what this Nine of Wands is. Spirit, please clarify the Nine of Wands for Gemini. So we have um, the Ace of Swords again. This is the third double clarification in this reading. This is a very powerful reading, Gemini, okay? This Ace of Swords is the same card as this Ace of Swords in different decks, okay? Very powerful. Again, a new beginning. Um, possible new communication that needs to happen, clarity that needs to be um, communicated or, or communication that needs to happen to bring, bring in clarity is, is how I should say it. So you're feeling burdened um, regarding this new beginning or this communication um, and are feeling like you want to walk away. This looks like, um, so this Eight of Cups talks about walking away um, from something and we have the Hermit card here as well. So it looks like you are going to be taking some time to go within to figure out um, how you want to proceed. Um, looks like um, there is a possibility of someone walking away um, from the new beginning that could possibly be occurring um, in this relationship. So yes, I do feel there is a relationship here with a Taurus individual um, and the clarity is being blocked. Um, it looks like with um, with the energies here, there is restriction and um, something that cannot be attained um, with clear communication or with communication in general. So you're feeling burdened. Um, you're feeling like you want to walk away and you are definitely going within to assess how... Um, how you're going to move forward in this endeavor with this person. Let me see what this Four of Pentacles is because it looks like you're hanging on tight to um, either your money or your assets. Let's check to see what this is all about. Spirit, please clarify the Four of Pentacles for Gemini.
once again, that's our fourth double clarification with the nine of wands coming out on the table here, okay? I'll show you in, in just a moment here. Let me get the, get the last uh, pulled card here. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have four of cups. Okay. So we have the nine of wands. Again, this is the same card, different deck, okay? So again, this energy here of feeling overwhelmed and burdened is coming out again. Now it's clear, this one is clarifying um, why you're hanging on so tight to your money. Um, it looks like you are gonna need some strength. Um, there is the Ace of Pentacles here. So um, there is a new beginning regarding your money and the Ten of Wands here is talking about um, something that's ending. Um, and it's going to definitely... So the Ten of Wands is... Um, the Tens are completion. You have the Ace of Pentacles here, with it, which is something that's starting fresh. Okay. Um, now, since it is the Ace of Pentacles, this could be in a new job. It could be um, a new um, venture in money in any way. It could be you know, a side hustle, it could be a full-time job, whatever, whatever that means for you. Um, but I do feel that you are um, focused on your money. You've been feeling burdened for whatever reason that is, only you would know um, in that because everyone is different, right? Um, you're going to have some, you're going to need strength to start a new beginning and end an old cycle um, and move into a new cycle. So this could possibly be that you are leaving um, a job um, and starting something new and as you know starting something new is always um, difficult it always comes with challenges whether that's working for an organization with a group of people and having a boss or whether it's you um, starting your own business and becoming your own boss um, it's going to require you to have strength okay and you are probably saving up your money right now so that you can take this leap forward into a new direction okay so there is love and money here in your reading today gemini um, i want to clarify again with you that the ace of swords has come out twice here um, communication is going to be very important um, not only with this individual that you are in a relationship with and i want to show you something i see the hermit here you got the hermit twice Again, this is there's double clarification in this reading everywhere. This is the fifth one. So going within is going to be very crucial, okay, so that you can really understand, you know, how you're feeling, what, you, what you're thinking, um, really trusting your intuition and how you're going to move forward. Although you may feel like something can, something is un, unattainable right now with this um, Taurus individual, um, it looks like there is going to be a new beginning. Again, I want to show you something here. Um, so that you have the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, okay? There is a new beginning regarding money here. Money is very um, a very big theme here that I'm feeling in this reading. Now, you do have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck on this other deck here, okay? So, as I said, you may be feeling like you cannot attain something, but you may just be um, either not looking at what's in front of you, um, and you may not be actually opening up to the possibility of what is readily available to you, and so you need to make sure that you have your, uh, your heart open. At the beginning of the reading, I did mention to you that... Um, you know, in my meditation, I did feel that there was some high emotion um, that was going to be um, plaguing all of us in February. Um, and that could be, you know, really just getting in touch with your heart chakra, meditating and making, making sure that your, your heart chakra is in balance. Um, and once you do that, I believe that this attainment is possible because all you have to do is take off the blindfold. Okay. All you have to do is um, look at this beautiful um, 
bowl of gems with the light shining directly out of it. I mean, it's right there in front of you. You're just not, you're just not seeing it. Okay. So, so yeah, there are, um, it seems like both of you are definitely, um, uh, feeling restricted, um, feeling lack of confidence and re really just feeling blinded to what, um, what is available to, um, to you at this time. So I'm going to go ahead and get a love oracle for you, Gemini, and we'll see what, uh, what comes out here for that. And then we'll do one for the money side of it, because there is love and money here in this reading for you. Gemini, if this reading did not resonate with you, please go and check out your sun, moon, and rising signs, as I said, okay? If it did and you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. Okay. Spirit, one message for Gemini from the Love Oracle, please. message for you today we have two of them first one is deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right yeah so with this um possible lack of confidence and um you know on on their part and this um feeling of uh, not being able to attain um the whatever it is that you need from this individual um, you already know what to do, right? You just look deep in within your heart, really go in um, with this hermit card. This is saying that you are going within, okay? Do some soul searching and um, do what feels right. Um, you already know the answer, okay? And this card is healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being heal healed this very moment. That is so beautiful, Gemini. And I do feel that this love here, this love connection, is something that can be healed. Um, and it's something that may take some work, some shadow work on your your part and his part or her part. Okay. Take it how it resonates. Um, or, you know, this could be this this relationship could be anything, his or her, um, you know, it could be a same sex um relationship, it doesn't matter whatever however it pertains to you just know that um healing is possible take the time to really go within to um to communicate okay if there's something that needs to be said if there's something that needs to be discussed um it's important that you communicate um, with this individual and vice versa okay um i do want to get um, i'm going to go ahead and get um a messenger oracle here for you Spirit, one oracle card for Gemini to close the reading, please. Thank you. And the message is, observe in silence. So yeah, take the time to step back and really observe what's going on with um, your person and with you. Um, go deep within to your heart and do what feels right okay um just know that um you're you're gonna need some strength to um endure what's going on in the workplace here it looks like you may be leaving um a job um or changing careers um and it looks like you've been burdened um on that front um feeling feeling overwhelmed and it's going to take some strength to move into a new direction but it looks like you will be also in this um, perspective will be observing in silence and um, taking your time before you actually execute a new plan so 
this was a very intense reading it had a lot of um, double clarifications which really um, as a reader really tells me that this is a very powerful energy coming in for you in February um, so I really hope that this resonated with you Gemini um, and I hope you're having a happy new year and um, I really wish you luck with um, this uh, new uh, month in February of 2021. Until next time, Gemini. Namaste.